Hello, this is How To Bob, and I want to share this project with you that I have going on. It's cutting a circular hole in drywall, and then I'm going to need to patch up the old hole. As you can see here, I've got a medicine cabinet I want to put, and you can see I have the center line drawn on the medicine cabinet where the medicine cabinet is going to go, and the hole is offset from the old light. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my hole size here, and I'm going to be using the ideal hole saw cutter. It cuts anywhere from two to seven inches and beyond. And I take this out and these little guides here are going to have to come off so I have to loosen this nut because I'm cutting a small hole. I'm only going to cut a four inch hole so anything less than like six inches you have to take the guide off. So I take my center, center arbor out and I just get rid of the guide for right now. And then I can put my center arbor back in and tighten it up. Now the next thing I want to do is loosen up my blades and then I can slide them back and forth and you'll see that there are little notches here. The blade will slide back and forth and click into the notches so once I get it set at four inches right here I can lock in my blade and I want to do this on both sides of the hole cutter. Once I get that in the notch I'll go ahead and tighten it all the way up and that should give me a four inch hole once I hook this up to the drill. Now just to make sure I'm going to take my tape measure and run it across the blades and you can see it goes right to four inches so I'm satisfied I'm going to go back up and drill the hole now you can see I have the mark set I'm going to go ahead and drill now doesn't take too much pressure and you just keep the drill going until you get all the way through and then your hole will pop right out. I'm going to put my wire through to the new hole so I can begin to patch my old hole and I'm going to save my piece of drywall that I removed. As you can see it'll fit pretty close. So in order to have something to hold that patch to I'm going to go ahead and cut two pieces of one by two and what I'll do is slide them in behind the wall here once I get that slid in behind the wall and centered I'll take some drywall screws and run it through the drywall and into the one by that is behind the wall and I have to hold out on the one by to keep it pressed against the back of the wall so that my drywall screw doesn't push the one by out so once I get two screws in there I'm going to go ahead and do the top the same way just feed a one by back in behind the wall and hold it pretty steady until my screw gets tightened in there. And then I'll put a screw in the other side. And this will give me a backing for my hole patch. So now that I've got my hole patch done, you can see it's pretty smooth here. I go ahead and stick the piece that I just cut out right in there. Once I get that in, I can go ahead and use some drywall screws and screw in to the two pieces of wood I just put in behind the wall. Now you can see on the patch I did kind of skim some of the paper off and that gives me more room when I'm patching. So I'm going to take my patch now and fill in those areas that I skimmed off the paper. And once I get a good coating on on my area that I'm going to fill, I will come back in with some drywall tape just to keep it from cracking in the future. I want to make sure I put enough mud on here to embed my drywall tape and smooth it around to cover at least the area where the hole is and a little bit more. So I put my tape over top of the hole on each side. I'm just going to put two pieces on and then I'll have two small pieces on the top and the bottom and that should cover all of the cracks in this hole. Now that I've got my drywall tape on, I'll come back in and press the tape into the bed of mud and then I'll smear the mud around the outside, um, kind of wipe it around, feather it off real nice and smooth. And once I do that for all the pieces of tape, then I can come back in and add some more mud. So I'm going to push the tape down into the mud again 
and then the excess all kind of feather around the edges until I get it real nice and smooth. Okay, once I've got this fairly smooth, I'm going to add a little bit more mud on top of the coat that I have and kind of feather it out a little bit further just to get it nice and smooth. Once I get all that mud on there, I'm going to grab a little bit larger drywall knife and get a real nice smooth patch. And like I said, I'll come back in tomorrow and put another coat on and sand it and then I'll be ready for paint. So this is how to cut a circular hole and patch a circular hole in drywall. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.